And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty Remastered. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it. About time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Back on the same page, are we? Not exactly. Brings back a lot of memories, all this. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked in Op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do about digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the up there? We had our sights trained on a guy who sat in the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. Think we can spare 60 seconds? Hell, might even learn something about So Me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was articulate. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his dopamine. Spending big money on Kit's luxury it was kind of his M.O. So, what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. The problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she... 
pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. Worked out though, right? We're all here now, together. Hmm, which can't be said for Hernandez and his men. We took any possibility of that from them. All thought of subterfuge went poof. We had to kick the door down. A rival cartel wiped them out. That was the official version. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. Parse the intel from the shard Soma gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Alex nailed it. If anyone's to blame, it's Myers, not you. You might be right, but so am I. Right, our objective, to free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue up. Because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. A consequence of her service to the NUS and President Mines. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, the kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. All right. Flynn, I'm here. Hansen to meet with the net runners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close to Song and the Matrix. Hansen hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hansen access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hansen's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural Matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now, we just need to take those twins out of the equation. So we kidnap them. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental wide in NC. An exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack them. Before they reach Hansen at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Alex will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. Behavior imprints are tuned already. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen? Right. Where you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at this stage. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird. We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much as hell. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talked about Nab and the Runners? Cover that in a minute. Intercepting the Runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. 
Karen Exotics specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those, we find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. So breach the station, trace the car. Good, what then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Sounds simple enough. Tech worth tens of thousands can help any plan go off like a dream. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. two things quickly first good news i managed to upgrade your relics firmware you'll see what i mean in a minute don't worry completely painless first good news you said so there's a second thing right it's super important stays between us it's gotta proof of my trust i'm sending you coordinates come after dark you should be able to talk freely Okay, need to Delta, but see you soon.
great. She's great. I ain't got a problem, Alex. Gonna take more than breaching one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a sec. Okay, got another station for you to try. Let's get to it. Good luck out there. And raise Reed soon as you grab that encryption key. Looking for something? Won't find it here. Nothing to find. <sighs> Borked. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus! You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. So, yeah. Turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested? Okay, Eddie's are all yours. Nova, done deal. So, Switch, where is it? I don't know exactly. Around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. <laughs>
What the fuck? My BD! No! Got the best fucking bit, too! Jankass power crit? Yo, yo, yo! Don't even think about plotlining here! I ain't gonna touch a corpse! <clears throat> this... This gotta be what having a fucking stroke feels like. Hey, 
Hey, you made it. Got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. Appreciate the invite. Glad to see you, Alex. Sweet of you to say. I wrote you because... because I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm. And not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission, not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So, what do you want to talk about? I mean, it's not like I have an agenda typed up. I just want... to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just Alex. This happened often. These moments you pine for your old self. Lately, all the time. But I know the old me is long gone. I'm a different person now. Somewhere under all these masks. Say, you ever think about who you'd be now if, you know, life had taken a different turn? Maybe I'd still be with my family out on the road. As in nomads? Mm-hmm. The backers. Probably somewhere in the Midwest right now, scraping together a few eds from the corn harvest. Then long conversations over beer. Isn't it time we join Snake Nation? Soaking in that big sky. Or the stink of chew in some rat hole motel. <laughs> or that. Okay, now you. Who would you be, if not a secret agent and master of disguise? An actor. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals, especially. Seriously? <laughs> Call me old-fashioned. So yeah, guess I'd be a brain dance star. Hmm. <laughs> so special about musicals the world in song is much more beautiful than in reality intensely so plus i just like to dance to your future career i know you can pull it off thanks v really I love this song. Never know in which way's up down. It's never what it seems when it's all I'm ever missing. And it feels as though I'm waiting. And I don't need no head in my hands. No, I'm ever heading way south I think I'll find it all Somewhere between the ice and fire Cause it's all I'm ever thinking I don't hear Anything about it right now Take down All of it is jaded somehow It's not me Don't do this often, I'm guessing. Busted moves? I can't say I do. We gave it away. <laughs> Wasn't thinking of dancing, but never mind. We'll see you on BD posters in no time. I know it. First, retirement. Oh, gee.
how fucking awesome bitches get. Yeah. But didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. It means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Come over here. So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Locals come here after sunset. Fire up grills, crack open beers, talk about nothing in particular. Swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it, every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn, actually from there. You're an indigo back. Can't rewind the clock, B. By the time you realize you miss something, it's usually too late. Attack on Myers. You schemed it up with Hanson. I know that. Yeah. Neural Matrix was pricey. But honestly, I... I never thought he'd try to kill her. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix. And for us to run. All before Kirk caught on. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but... As soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. I just know it. It fucked everything up, I know, V. But I had no choice. Still don't understand why. Was it any other way? Honestly? Wouldn't have resorted to this if there was. For Myers, the NUSA, I'm just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. And weapons and tools. They don't get to make decisions, or choose to retire. Sounds... Sounds painfully familiar. 
Like, I know how you feel. I know anyone understands this feeling as well as you do, B. You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah. With you and myself. I need to get away. From Kurt, then USA, Reed. From everything. Night City is just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, V. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission. Grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then... You help me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And... that's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me? Or because I promised to save your life? I understand you. Believe you. Know what it's like to fight for your life. Every minute of it. Gives you a new perspective, doesn't it? <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hanson. So me contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIP's ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit. Better sitch. It's looking bad. Real bad. This tech's her only shot. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Get our hands on that cure. But Reed, what Somi spilled, we really need to talk. I know, but later. Not a topic for the hollow. V, one other thing. You need new chrome. An implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. I'm sending you deets for a clinic. A doc will be expecting you. Just tell the Ripper you know she collects unification war trinkets. So know you came with my blessing. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.